uh, in my clinical practice, uh, seeing a spectrum of patients across the lifespan, um, I see that typically when my patients start dating someone, so typically a, 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 a longer term relationship when there's been a, a few dates and they have a commitment to each other, uh, more common than not, they'll actually bring their boyfriend or girlfriend to the clinic appointment. Um, they initially have a discussion about that they have seizures. Commonly, it involves um, a, a parent, in the case of an adolescent, to talk a bit more about the history of the seizures and the epilepsy. Um, so first and foremost, it probably involves a, a trusting relationship that is going to be longer term. And second would be honesty. Uh, and then thirdly, having them be involved in um, disease management or at least a disease uh, awareness. One of the advantages of coming to the doctor's appointments is that they can actually ask questions that may have been discussed in the past, such as definitions of what is epilepsy, how are seizures and epilepsy similar and different, uh, what are the treatments for epilepsy and the associated seizures, and what are the, some of the comorbidities that we frequently see in epilepsy besides seizures. I find that such relationships uh, are strengthened by this honesty and are very supportive. I've seen this even among teenagers who are dating appropriately, um, and the boyfriends or girlfriends actually are earnestly concerned about the safety, welfare, and health of their respective partner. And I see that this really enhances the larger social network, which is integral to the success of disease management in patients with epilepsy.